So this control panel is very, very easy to use. And uh, I'm just going to explain the basic functions and some good use case scenarios for certain features as well. So let's get into it. So the first thing to mention is that this control panel times itself out to turn off all the lights so that at night time you don't have anything annoying and bright shining away in the corner of the motorhome. So at the moment it looks as though everything is off, but of course we have lights and things on in this particular vehicle. So uh, the power is definitely on. When the panel is in its timeout state like this, all you need to do is press any button. Any button will bring the panel back to life again, if you will. It won't do the intended function. So for example, if I press Frost Protect, it's not going to turn on that system when I press this button. All it's going to do is bring the panel back to life. But of course, then any subsequent presses will actually work. So I'll press the Frost Protect button, for example. Press that. As you can see, that is not actually turned on, but it's just brought the panel back to life. So when you see LEDs shining, that is an indication that the panel is uh, working and you can then just press the panel to do what you need to do. But when the panel is off, you just need to bring it back to life with a button press. So you can see we have some lights on here. So firstly, you're going to turn your leisure battery and therefore motorhome on and off with the power button in the center. And that will then light an LED there. And then we can see we have this picture of a motorhome. And then we have behind it a lightning bolt that will light up with the LED to show that we're plugged into mains electric. If we're not plugged into mains electric, that will not light up. Now, of course, if you are plugged into mains electric, but that isn't showing, then maybe you have an RCD or an MCB that's not working or some other electrical issue that you need to resolve. Then on the display, you can see we have an LED showing in the back of the motorhome. And if you're observant, you can see there are two other LED positions. Uh, so one at the back, one at, you can see the panel's just timed out. So that's what it does there. So you can see one at the back and one at the front. So um, you can see the one at the back. This basically means we are on the leisure battery. The leisure battery is what we are currently powering the motorhome with, which is what it should be, of course. If we turn on the awning light, that will turn on the top LED. Of course, that also turns on the awning light if you have one fitted. Uh, but this is just a nice way of knowing without having to go outside that you can see you still have your awning light on. Now, I'll come on to the front LED position, which is going to be for the vehicle battery in a moment's time. But first of all, let's talk about these other functions. So with the power on, we can turn on our water pump right there. When you turn on the water pump, you can see it will briefly show you your water tank levels, but I'll come on to reading those gauges in a moment. So water pump power there. We have the cabin light, so that will turn on the lighting circuits in your vehicle. If you have tank heaters fitted, you may not. This button doesn't necessarily guarantee you do have them fitted uh, because this is a feature of this particular panel. But if you do have um, any tank heaters fitted, this button will turn them on and off. And then a view levels button. Now, before I press that, let's just explain the layout here. So we have your batteries, your two 12 volt batteries to either side, and there's segmented LED sections here that are going to light up to indicate the voltage in the respective battery. And you have the same sort of setup for the fresh and waste tanks respectively. When I press this view levels button, it's going to show all of those uh, gauges at once so we can see the levels in our batteries and water tanks like so. So you can see in this instance, the leisure battery has somewhere between 13 and 14 volts. So it's on charge, clearly, as we are on mains electric. The vehicle battery has around 12 volts. The wastewater tank is empty and the fresh water is about half full. There we go. Simple as that. Now, it's also worth noting that when you first turn this panel on, every LED will turn on for a split second. And that's so that you can check if there are any dead or duff LEDs in the panel itself. Um, so what else can we do? So we can um, also choose which battery we're going to operate from. So when you first power on, in fact, let me just power down this motorhome so that you can see. So I've turned everything off. You may have noticed it's just got a bit darker in here. If I power on, you're going to see that light test and then it will flick to the uh, default setup for the vehicle. Now, when the panel comes off the light test, it will show the currently selected leisure battery voltage briefly. So there's the lights test, there's the battery check. So we can see the voltage there, and then it will settle down to just showing these three lights here, like so. 
So that shows that we're on the leisure battery. We did get to see the voltage when we first turned on. We can check that voltage, of course, by pressing view levels and we can see every everything, of course. You could press the leisure battery button here and that will also show, so if I do that now, that will also show just the leisure battery voltage. Doing so on the on the non-selected battery, so in this case the vehicle battery, is actually going to switch to that battery. Now, before you switch from the leisure battery to the vehicle battery, you must make sure that your battery charger is receiving mains electrical power and is working. So, of course, go through your vehicle to, uh, obviously, each vehicle's got a slightly different setup. Um, so do whatever checks you need to do to make sure that condition is true, that you do have electric coming in and your charger is working. Um, and then you know that when you switch to the vehicle battery, it's going to charge it up and not drain it. If you're going to switch to the vehicle battery and it's not going to be charging, don't do it because, of course, you shouldn't be draining your vehicle battery to power your motorhome. So I can verify that we are plugged into mains electric because we can see that here. And it's a good indication to see, well, we've got such a high voltage here in the leisure battery that the charger must be working. OK, now. That's not the only given, of course. If you have a solar panel set up on your vehicle, sometimes your solar panel can boost your leisure battery voltage high enough to give you that impression. And of course, if your vehicle battery doesn't benefit from the solar panel, i.e. it's not um, wired to receive the solar panel charge, then it's irrelevant seeing a high voltage here because it's not going to uh, reach the vehicle battery. So always make sure your mains powered charger is on and working before you switch to your vehicle battery, regardless of solar panel output. So because I've verified those things, I know that it's working so I can switch over. Now I've pressed that button. You can see it's now showing us the vehicle battery voltage to show us that that's the selected battery. The LED has extinguished here and now we have an amber one in the front of the motorhome. And that's to show that we're now on the vehicle battery. So at a glance, I can look up and I can see that we are on the vehicle battery. And it's amber just to give you uh, an indication that something might not be exactly set up perfectly and in this case it's that we're on the vehicle battery not the leisure battery so if we were to disconnect our electric supply at the moment we would start draining the wrong battery so it's just to let you know that you do need some attention at some point here because something is not configured 100% as it should so just to clarify of course switching to your vehicle battery is done to charge the battery so it's absolutely fine to do this when those conditions like I said earlier are true that you know that you are on mains electric and the charger's working. Um, it's absolutely fine to do what we're doing here uh, because you're not gonna be draining the vehicle battery. But before we disconnect from electric or anything like that, I am just going to switch back over to the leisure battery. And as you can see, we're, that's confirmed by A, the leisure battery lighting up and also seeing the LED now in the rear, the amber one has extinguished. But hopefully that made sense and you did find this useful. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.